Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to uh, keep the flow moving with our uh, power rankings, our uh, LCM power rankings. A lot of different uh, layers to this. Today, we are going to discuss fall 2024 top American LCN mafia associates, coast to coast, um, with all the families in play. And we're going to take it 10 to 1. Uh, okay. So, uh, number 10, I got Porky Padilla from Chicago. Not a lot of people know about this guy. Uh, so, I guess he'd be a sleeper as well. Um, he is a, a reputed hitman. Um, a guy that uh, has a lot of sway with Albie. Uh, Vina, the street boss, somebody that has been around the, the Grand Avenue regime for decades and is incredibly trusted and has a lot of juice in Chicago. So Freddie Pordyla, a.k.a. Porky, he is number 10. Number nine, Rex Cunningham, uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, Genovese, uh, Mob associate, his uncle is Mario Fiore, the oldest active made guy in the U.S. right now at, at 100. Um, Rexy is, you know, this guy in another life, if he was a full-blooded Italian, uh, this guy has boss material written all over him. Just um, universal respect for, for Rexy Cunningham. Uh Number eight, we're going to stay with that uh, New England vibe at number eight. Timmy the Bat Mellow uh, is the, you know, mob boss of uh, Fall River in New Bedford. It doesn't have a button, but has been around the patriarcha leadership for decades. And, uh, you know, first came on the scene under, uh, under Cadillac Frank. And, you know, the guys are forced to be reckoned with, uh, despite uh, not being an official member of LCN. Again, uh, talking about Massachusetts at, I'm bad with this counting, at <laughs> 10, 9, 8, at number 7, Amadeo Santanello. Don't think he has a button yet either, 85 years old, but for all intents and purposes, he is the godfather of Western Mass right now having uh, assumed power from his nephew who was running a, a rogue regime back in the winter. Amadeo seems to be reaching his highest level of esteem in his 80s. And it's this guy is like, I've talked about him before. He's got like nine lives. He's got like 99 lives uh, in terms of, you know, the stock market in the, in the mafia, how, how much he's been up and down and up and down and up and down. Um, and he's up right now. Uh, number six, Stephen, the Gorilla Montevergine, Pagan's motorcycle boss in Philadelphia, very close to the um, Bruno Scarfo crime family, and is a guy that uh, was integral in building this modern day alliance between, well, I say modern day, I mean like modern times over the last 25, 30 years. Um, Gorilla was at the center of the alliance between the pagans and the mafia in um, Philadelphia. And it, there had been about a 10 year gap in, in positive relationships. Or, and so there had been about a 10 year gap in, a, um, in that relationship between the bikers in Philadelphia and the mafia. And uh, things had been very, beneficial, uh, mutually beneficial for them in the 70s and 80s. And then there was kind of a Cold War-ish period between the mid-80s and the mid-90s. And uh, a gorilla was the one that got things back on track with uh, the guys that are running Philly right now, back when they were young bucks in the, uh, in the 90s. It brings us into our top five. And I got two guys tied at number five. Um, 
One is Eddie Peretti, Fast Eddie. Uh, we're told he doesn't have his button. He's, I think, half Italian, half French, or maybe he's all French. I'm not exactly positive, but right now he's got the power for the Patriarchas in Connecticut. He is the crew boss there. Big earner, a lot of uh, faith in him from the Patriarcha brass in Boston and in um, Providence. I got tied with him, Mike Posner, one of the most powerful Jewish mafia associates in America over these last 30, 40 years. Um, he is a Chicago mob associate. His dad was a, a, a Chicago mob, mob associate. They called him Pippi Green. Some people call Mike Posner Little Pip, Little Pippi. Uh, big time earner, owns like casinos in the Caribbean. And uh, wherever he is, he, he is a um, he's a player. Number four, Harold Daggett. He's been in the news. He's the uh, union boss, uh, Longshoreman Association, and um, he is he could be number one here. Um, but I got him at uh, number four. But he easily could be number one. He's allegedly put into power by the Genovese crime family. I'm told he's still very close to Barney. He's very close to Danny Pagano. He's very close to Patty Falsetti. All, you know, the top shot callers in the Genovese. Number three, another guy that could be number one, Joe Watts, Joe the German, um, probably the number one uh, traditional Italian mob associate in New York City, close to the Gotti regime, close to the uh, current Sicilian uh, era in the Gambinos, and a guy that is just the picture of, you know, uh, class, connections, um, fearlessness, cap you know, being capable, uh, as well as making a lot of money brings us to our top two. And, and the reason I put these guys at one and two is because of the global geo, inter, the international scope that these guys bring to the table. Number two, John um, Ehrman, AKA Tommy O the reputed outlaws, motorcycle boss, uh, international president connected allegedly to the Buffalo mafia. Um, and then number one, uh, to me, this is a no-brainer, even though I said there were other people who could be number one. But this guy is a, is a you know, his power goes around the globe. And I'm talking about Mike the Serb, a.k.a. Uh, Mike Michael, a.k.a. Uh, Maletta Melangic, um, Gambino Associate leader of, uh, of Group America, which is like a political power broking, a political power brokerage slash drug network, um, international narcotics network. Uh, he is very close to the uh, Lorenzo Menino. He is very close to Bo Filippelli. He's very close to um, Frankie Camuso. So Mike the Serb, um, in addition to being close to the LCN guys in New York, he's close to you know political powers around the, around the globe, uh, tied into the Serbian government. You know this is this is like James Bond type of shit. So Mike the Serb is number one. That's my power ranking for fall 2024 American Mob Associates. Please like, subscribe, and share the word about the OG pod. Um, check out Gangster Report, which is our companion web magazine. Check out uh, OG Patreon members only, where we do you know a little bit different style of videos. Not always going to be traditional organized crime. Could be some more just regular true crime, but also more analytical, more more kind of uh, exclusivey, less newsy um, than the YouTube, but we're still going to be here on the YouTube, giving you breaking news whenever it comes out, uh, uncovering the underworld in North America, city by city, region by region, 
crime family by crime family. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Public.